this is Old Mates, Backyard Tech. I am in no way, shape or form a fully qualified mechanic. Therefore, if you are following along with this service repair and or information video, you are doing this at your own risk. So you have been warned. All right. I mentioned in the Backyard Tech vlog uploaded yesterday here at Old Mates Backyard Tech for weekend Sundays that coming up later in the week, we had a couple of 80 series videos. That's coming up later in the week. But as you can see in the background, it's 80 series time here at Old Mates Backyard Tech. And for this one, right at this point in time, the old girl's too dangerous to drive. It's also very dicey to try and stop. One of the best four wheel drives ever made. Here at Old Mates Backyard Tech. It's 80 series time. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is 80 series time here at Old Mates Backyard Tech for a Monday and this isn't either of the two 80 series videos I spoke about in the Backyard Tech vlog uploaded yesterday here at Old Mates Backyard Tech for weekend Sundays. So, I mentioned in yesterday's promo and the vlog, the other half and I had to go out and we had to drive about 25 minutes in that direction. So we, we left when we said we were going to leave and I get down there and there's a nasty clunk coming from the front left and my first thought was not again I've done another bearing now be it an inner or outer wheel bearing I wasn't sure well it's a little bit worse than that because I also noticed at the time of the clunk that I can't pull the old girl up properly suffice to say I dropped another caliper bolt and so the front caliper has been swinging around on the inside of the rim what made it a whole lot worse is the lower caliper bolt, so I dropped the upper one, the lower one is also coming loose. Now these are the two factory caliper bolts. These are not the ones I've replaced. Now when we did the brakes on the 80 uh, a few months ago, I talked those caliper bolts and yet they have still come loose, which is not good. By any stretch of the imagination, it's not good. So what I've got to do, I've got the video camera on charge at the moment um i got to find my little socket set hopefully i can undo it with my little socket set that's the that's the 64 million dollar question hopefully i can undo it with my little socket set we'll get the factory bolt out then i can, i've got to go there's three automotive aftermarket stores i can go to now the reason i'm not going to them rather than my local toyota dealership is because the caliper bolts from my local Toyota dealership are $72. That's 36 bucks each for two caliper bolts. It's... So, I'm going to go and get a couple... I'm going to buy two caliper bolts, not one. I'll buy them in two because you don't use... You don't just replace one bolt. You replace both bolts. So, we're going to get the other caliper bolt out. I'm going to show you how I can fix this without having to take the whole wheel off. All right. And the reason I don't want to take the whole wheel off is oh, it's just too hard. I don't have the time. The thing is, the reason I'm in a hurry to get this done today is the other half shifts are all over the countryside this week. So she needs her car. And if the phone rings, she's got to be ready to up and walk out the door. And if I've got her car, that's just not going to happen. I need my car, the Savo. I need it all day tomorrow. I need it Wednesday, early Wednesday Arvo, Thursday lunchtime, and most of Friday Arvo. So I need my car back on the road. Today's the only day I can put it back on the road. So let's uh, let's grab the video camera. Let's get the uh, the socket set. Hopefully I can undo that other bolt, and then I'm going to go head off, grab the couple of caliper bolts, come back, and we'll try and fix the caliper without having to jack the car up. I really don't want to jack the car up if I don't have to. Be handy if I don't have to. Anyway, let's um, let's see what we can get, get done. Let's get into it. All right, so let me just show you what's going on here. All right, uh, see the caliper. So if I try and get this in a spot, actually see it, hang on. <laughs> I'm trying to do this holding the camera in one hand and you might be able to just see it there. So the top bolts come out. I don't know if you can actually see that, but oh yeah, you can. 
so the top bolt's out. So what I'm going to do, I'll get the bottom bolt out and then I'll just rest the caliper in there and uh, I'll have to get, uh, you know, get some new caliper bolts. So let me get the other bolt out. Alright, so I've got it out. That's it there. So what I'll go and do now is I'll wipe that down with some paper towel and then I'm off to go and uh, get two new caliper bolts. That'll be fun, won't it? Anyway, alright, let me get this wiped down and uh, I guess I'll uh, go and get two new caliper bolts. So I'll see you soon. Alright, so I'm back. Two new HT bolts. The good thing is the washers are actually stuck on the back of the caliper, so ready to go there. I also got some of this so that we can put, them, put it in. A little bit of this stuff on it. It'll stop it. I'm hoping it'll stop them spinning out. Because um, right now I can't afford for this car to be off the road and the way it's looking. I'm also not going to be here tomorrow now or Wednesday, guys. So, alrighty. So, oh boy, this stuff's a bit sticky, isn't it? Okay, let's get some of this on here just a little bit. Not a hell of a lot. Man. All right. That stuff's really sticky. Wow, that gets on everything. All right. So, you're going to see my ugly body doing this, but what I'll do is I'll get the first one in, I'll get the second one in, and then we'll wrench on them. Hopefully I can do this without having to jack the car up. So, let me get this first one started and we'll be back. Well, as usual, working on the 80. Dirty. I've got one in. I've got the top bolt in, but not tight. So, what we'll do now... Same with this bolt here, we'll get some of this stuff on it and uh, we'll uh, get it in then I'll uh, be able to show you how I've got the thing up. For those that are curious, um, the, uh, the way I stopped this car with obviously very little in the way of braking was using the automatic and just gliding it to a stop once I got low enough that I felt safe, just I would ease the brakes on. Um, there doesn't appear to be any damage to the top of the rotor, which is lucky. Um, so I've sort of dodged a bullet there. Um, but what I want to do is I'm going to get this done up, and get this next bolt in. We'll get a bit of this gasket stuff on it. And um, I'll just show you how I'm doing this. Um, because as I said in the intro, the other half's car, um, she needs her car this entire week and we can't afford for the 80 to be off the road. So let me get this done and uh, we'll come back. All right, so I've got both bolts in now. They're in. Now I've got a wrench on them. Now, what I'm going to be doing is... I've got to go and get a bigger socket. I've borrowed this from a mate because the um, heads on these new bolts are bigger than the maximum size of my of my um, little set. Um, same inch drive, just I've got to get a bigger socket. But what I'm going to do is wrench on these and then I may end up going to see, well, obviously I'm going to have to keep an eye on it for a while, but see if I can get a, you know, one of those little torque wrenches and get this thing torqued to 60. Um, so what I'm going to do now is wrench on them um, and the easiest way to do that I have found especially if you've got the wheels on is use your strongest hand and just literally keep going until you can't and then wrench on it which is about now oh. all right let me wrench on these and I'll be back. Okay, so that's one wrenched on. And because I'm slightly ambidextrous with both left and right hands, I can actually, I've got enough strength in my right hand 
to be able to wrench on these nuts, on these bolts. So, next one to do, which is actually a little bit more tedious, is the bottom one. Because you've got to put up the, with the cross arm. And there we go. Beautiful. They're done up nice and tight. And if you have a look here, I bring you around, oops, losing the tripod here, guys. <laughs> so if I bring you around down to here, if you can see the, you can see there's no movement in there now. So what I'm now going to do is uh, I'll take this for a spin and uh, we'll see if the brakes hold up. All right guys, so let's go for a quick spin. I've just dropped off what I had to drop off at my mate. Only lives around the corner, but I'm gonna get this thing up to a reasonable speed to test it. exactly where to go to do this too. Only a short stretch of road but you can get this thing up to a decent speed that you can actually slam the brakes and make sure they're not banging. It's been a while since we've done a driving video. Breaks out. Not a worry. Now, if this VW will get going. Hit the brakes. No problem at all. I think I've dodged a bullet there, guys, by, by this. I may be, I may be lucky. <laughs> Stuff's going flying around in the boot. No clunking. No weird noises coming from the front rotors, which is nice. I should have actually used the mobile phone for this, but I didn't. And there we go. The 80 is back on the road, guys. Now all I've got to do is clean myself up and uh, head out for the day or for the afternoon because I've got things I've got to do the Sabo so there we go beautiful get out of the road magpie alrighty so there we are guys that's lucky so we managed to get them tight enough um, that I didn't have to put the uh, jack the car up um, it's easier doing that on the right, on the left hand side than it would have been on, on the driver's side here. There we go. Job done. 80 series video. Uh, well, I'm not here tomorrow. Uh, we'll have to see what happens Wednesday though. I'm, hopefully I'm around Wednesday, but now that I've had to modify everything for today, I may not get everything done I needed to get done, but we'll see how we go. Anyway, have a good one. This has been an old mate's backyard tech presentation.